welcome and welcome to the present when it rains it pours according to reports jesus has uh, supposedly sustained another knee injury well I, I can't believe this simba is out acl party is out now jesus our season is not he's not just going as planned he is not going as not, not because we did not invest rightly we did but you cannot price in these injuries you cannot predict or forecast that this kind of injuries will come in some of you say about party come on not this long i made a video about it i responded to that we never planned that party will be out for this long nobody planned for the timber injury now jesus in his short as a career how many times has he blown up his knee how many times he's blowing up his knee like a fuse I'm not being insensitive. I'm just saying metaphorically. He's blown those news like, 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 fuse it. Like, how many times? I love Jesus. I want to prosper and succeed at Arsenal. But at this rate of his injury record, I'm sorry. The only way he can succeed is to be the second striker. We need a striker. A striker that can stay fit. That can play at least 36 games out of 38 games in the, in, in the league season. For me, Jesus can't do that. Now, can we replace him in this winter window? I don't think so. There's no way Brentford is going to let uh, Ivan Tony go without a king ransom for a fee. Can I not afford that? No. OC man, come on, stop playing with yourself. It's not going to happen this winter. So who can we get? Who can we get? For me, there is still a solution within the squad. But Ateta is so stubborn to playing Edin Ketia. Edin Ketia, for me, is not good enough for the top six clubs. Can he do a job temporarily and be coming out of the bench and running around? Yes, but to be your main striker in a title chase or a top four chase, he can't. Whatever Ateta is saying in training is a mirage. Someone needs to tell Ateta that whatever you are saying in training that you keep on insisting on this Eddie experiment is not working. I'm African, Eddie is African. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Whatever Ateta is saying Eddie do in training is not real. The real Eddie is what you say during your match days where is non-existent. It looks like we are playing without the striker. It's huffing and puffing, doing nothing. Now, once in a while, once, once in 10 games, he will do decently. Aside from that, he is not good enough. And Ateta has to, need to stop this stupid experiment. I rate Ateta like Ateta, but if you want to die on this ill, we will not be in the top four. Arsenal will not make top four if Ateta insists on playing AD as the number nine. He is not good enough. We have Kai who can do a good job, a better job. We have Martinelli who can do a better job. You can stick in uh, uh, Riz Nelson as the left winger and play uh, Martinelli uh, as through the, through the middle. He has done it before. And he will do better th than what Eddie will ever do. Will ever do rather. We've seen Kai. He can do a good job and a fantastic job as a number nine. But why is Ateta sticking to this nonsense, dying on this hill of Eddie? What does Eddie have over Ateta? I just hope Ateta does not blow our top four aspirations. Now, title aspirations are still there, but with all these spikes of injuries to, to <clears throat> Pate, now Jesus, let's be realistic. Top four, let's be realistic as a fan. It's not top four aspirations. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Now, we don't know the severity of the injury to Jesus, but based on antecedent, the last two injuries he has had, is not going to be... It's going to be at least months. And how many months do we have left to compete in the league, the Champions League, and the FA Cup? Even today's match against Liverpool, I, I, my, all my confidence has been zapped out because I know Mikel Ateta will insist on playing ADR up front until the, 90, until the 17th minute. He says that nothing is working. They won't switch it up. I'm tired of this experiment. So for Jesus, it is what it is. It's time to find a permanent solution. He can never be a main striker anymore. How many times are you going to blow up in it? It shows that you can't guarantee you take at least 30 games in a season. Jesus can guarantee that. It's unfortunate. It's so unfortunate. And we have to find a permanent solution to, the, to this. Can we get a solution this winter? I highly doubt it. I don't think we can get any good striker uh, this winter. We, we cannot afford the 100 million plus for Brentford, even though I don't rate him. We can't afford similar fee for Ozyman, even though I don't rate him. If us wait till the winter, so the summer, then we have options, viable and better options to exploit from. So it is where it is. I'm still hopeful that we can still make top four or passively compete for the title if Atala does not insist in this fruitless chase of playing 
AJ as if I was number nine. He is not good enough for a team like Arsenal to play their number nine. But Crystal Palace, for a bright team, all those other teams, he can do a job. For Arsenal, Eddie is not just good enough. Let me know what you think about this Jesus latest injury. Uh, do you think it's going to finally derail our aspirations of getting any title challenge or the top four? Let me know. And do you think Eddie can do a decent job or am I over reactionary to the fact that Eddie is not good? Let me know in the comment section. I'm not defended Eddie. For some of you say, oh, I've not defended it. I've seen... Now, what I did in the past was like, give him a chance to see whether he can improve. And I've seen more than enough to see that Eddie cannot improve. He's not good enough. It is what it is. It's not me flip-flopping. It's me saying, let us see more to make an informed decision. And I'm making an informed decision that whatever this I said in training is a mirage. He's seeing some African juju. And uh, whatever he sees on March day is your Eddie. Like the video. Very important. Uh, subscribe here to subscribe. And make sure you turn on uh, your notification bell. Very important. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now. Oh,